بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما the next thing we'll try to understand about the service sets and there are three different types of service sets we'll try to get into that as well now the first thing what is service set service set represents a group of devices connecting with the same ssid so if you if you just take a simple example here if i go to my wireless router which i have and if i try to log into this router now here you do find some status if i go to the status option here now here if i go and click on this active client table so the interface will vary now this is my wifi network and you can see these are the different products or the different devices which are connected to the wifi network you can see there is an ipad and then phone and probably there are some laptops as well connected a couple of laptops here and these are the ip addresses what they are using and these are the mac addresses what they have and of course there is one more device like the camera probably that is also part of the network now you can see these are all the devices and these all devices are having the common ssid so the ssid represents the wireless name and the ssid to which i'm connected is the dlink my home and if you try to go to the home page i think the wireless page from where you can see the ssid now all these devices are part of one network and they all are connected to the one ssid and these set of devices connecting to one common network we call them as service set and the id which is used to identify that service set we call it as ssid now we need to make sure that all the devices to be a part of the one wireless network and exchange the information they must be a uh, part of the same ssid now again how they represent you can represent as one logical network where the set of devices they are part of the same subnet or the same as a same vlan like if you take an example of your wireless in your corporate network the company network let's say i have vlan 10 vlan 20 and the vlan 30 and these are already pre configured on the wide network now each vlan represents a separate ssid so every ssid Uh, ssid for each vlan will be different and of course the access point when it is connecting to the wireless wide network it's going to represents one one logical subnet or one vlan so i'll, I'll show you a little bit more details in the next topics now mainly there are three types of service sets three types of uh, logical grouping networks and you can connect in the form of three types like the independent service set or basic service set or extended service set now the difference is simple if you are trying to connect the devices without any access point and that kind of network we call as independent service set or even it is called as ad hoc mode or p to p mode computer to computer network there are different names so technically in terms of service set uh, naming we call it as independent so basic service set and if you are trying to connect your devices with the help of one access point and just one access point and they are connected the clients we call them as basic service set and if you are trying to connect multiple access points then we call it as a extended service set so you may have two or more than two access points providing the connectivity and all these devices are part of one ssid they all use the same ssid but the only difference is in these three different types uh, in the first scenario there is no access point and in the second scenario we have only one access point in the third scenario that is extended service set we have multiple access points 